Mr. Houston Chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Shannon in here with us this afternoon, and Shannon is a self-confessed crack addict from Dallas, Texas. That's north of here about, what, five hours? Four. Four hours, yeah. We come down 45 all the way? Yes. Sir. Traffic's nightmare on 45 down in Houston. Uh oh <laughs> All right, so this is, a, this is a cautionary tale for all of you. Shannon has been getting chiropractic adjustments twice a week for a year, right? Yeah. And you haven't felt any better at all. So, I'm going to tell you something right now. Anybody that tries to put you on a three-time-a-week schedule or two-time-a-week schedule for a long period of time or tries to get you to prepay a whole bunch of visits, start, run the other way. If you're not seeing results within the first few adjustments, meaning you're feeling better and functioning better, they're not going to help you. I don't care if you're there a year or ten years. And they could have kept on going doing the same thing and it would have not helped at all. Not at all. So she's down here for a visible result and change, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. so she's been watching us on YouTube for how long now? Over a year. It took you this long to get down here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's have you close your eyes, Shannon, and flex your head forward and backwards. And then back to neutral. Yeah. I've already done her orthopedic neurological evaluation and her case history. Was that thorough, by the way, Shannon? Yes. Okay, so you see she's forward and to the right. Uh, she's got mostly lumbosacral and sacroiliac issues down in the lower part, but up here in the cervical spine, she's got cervical thoracic subluxations in her neck and lower upper back vertebrae. So let's go ahead and have you lay on your tummy for me. And she's got cervical thoracic subluxations so bad that it's creating what's called cervical thoracic radiculopathy or cervical brachial syndrome. It's affecting the brachial plexus coming out of the C5, C6 area down into her shoulders into her arm and all the way down to her hands and fingers. And she's also had some paresthesia, which is numbness and tingling. She's got a lot of sore spots, though, all up and down her spine. You feel all that? Mm -hmm. And that's real tender right there. Mm -hmm. And that's bad. Okay, so, like I said, we've already done her exam, so I'm just going to get to adjust her. You see her left leg shorter by half an inch. Then when I bring it up, it gets half an inch longer. So that's a definitely positive knockless in Deerfield on the right. Okay, lock your right leg straight, lift your whole leg off the table. No, right leg, other right leg. There you go. Okay, relax that one. Do the same thing now on the left side. Which one of those seem more difficult to you? Look like the left one to me, yeah. So she's got a left sacred deviation, and that's where I'm going to get started on adjusting her pelvis right now. The sacrum is the middle triangular shaped bone in the center of the pelvic bones, the ilii. So therefore, sacroiliac joint. This is the ilium. The left anominate bone and then the right sacroiliac, which is the right anominate bone called the ilium. And then the sacrum, meaning sacroiliac joint. Now I'm adjusting her lumbar spine, straight PDA. I bet you they were twisting you on your side, weren't they? We don't do that adjustment here either because I think that creates more issues than it helps in most cases with most practitioners. There are a few good Gonstead practitioners that can do a good side posture adjustment, but a lot of them are just like trying to kickstart Harley Davidson using force to try to get it to move and that doesn't work well because that causes ligaments instability. I see your legs are even already and I bet you this already feels smoother than that first one did. Mm -hmm. Legs stayed even that time. Okay, you're going to feel your head popping up a little on this one. Good. These are P to A adjustments. I bet you weren't getting any of those either. Mm -hmm. Let's turn you on your back now, please. So this is truly three-dimensional adjusting on the X, Y, and Z axes. 
See, I'm bringing her head back up and over her shoulders on the x-axis now. We're getting her ears back here over her shoulders. You can see they're in line now. Let's put your arm straight out to the sides for me now. And we're going to slide you down this way about half an inch. Okay. There we go. I bet it won't be a year before you're back down here getting another one of these. It better not be. There you go. All right. We don't keep our patients coming in here for long treatment programs. We see them once or twice to get them stable, and then we get them back out to live in their lives, and then they just come in when they feel like they need an adjustment. Okay, you should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your pelvis. Okay, let's sit you up. Face that away sideways. There you go. Okay. One thing I want you to start remembering is keeping that chin and head up. Because your main issue is that forward head posture. There we go. Your right shoulder. Oops. And left shoulder not as bad. Okay. going to get a really close-up view of the Palmer Diversified Rotary Brake on you line just uh, today. Okay. okay, let's come over here on this table now. And we're going to put your butt right there. Yep, head up that way and just lay there and relax. Hands in there good and tight on top of your hip bone. Slide down just a tad. There you go. It's going to feel tight at first, yeah. There you go. Just let your legs bend and relax naturally. You like you're in there tight enough? Not going anywhere? Not at all. There you go. Just relax and breathe for me. You shallow through your nose. Okay, so I want you to see how much vertical movement or horizontal movement we get. There you go. And I know you Ooh. felt that go all the way down, didn't you? Oh, you feel that yeah. all the way down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh. Didn't hurt me a bit. Ooh. Hey, you're still kicking your knees. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, drop this. This is what crack addicts love. Right there. That is a Palmer Diversified Rotary Brake to beat the band. Have you ever been adjusted like that before? No. Never. I can, yeah, I felt it. For sure. I know you did. <laughs> I've never had a patient leave here and say they didn't feel their adjustment. Let's have you sit up here now sideways. All right. There we go. Stand right here in front of the mirror for me. All right. All right. Let's have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and backwards for me now, please. Oh, look at the difference already. Look in the mirror. See, you're more centered already. But you're still a little right. You mm -hmm. see that? Yeah. So pull these up and back. This is your homework. Flare these way back here like this. Now see your head's forward and right. So I'm going to bring it straight back. Translate it left. Now look backwards at the wall behind you. Now keep your head straight. Translate it. Yep. You want to do this up next to the bed and then looking in the mirror in your bedroom. In case you fall over backwards, you land on your bed. Okay, relax. Now, when you do that again, I want you to tell me what feels different to you in your neck. Flex your head forward and backwards for me again, please. Eyes closed. And then back to neutral. Take a look now. See how your chin's up higher? Mm -hmm. So what? how did that feel versus the last couple times in your neck? Uh, I, can feel, I can feel some of the tension coming off. Did it, did it feel easier to move your yeah. neck than it did yeah. previously? Yeah, especially when did I Did it feel smoother? Like yeah. I put a little WD-40 in there? Yeah. Good. 
Okay, are you having any cervical radicular pain right now out into your shoulder and arm? No. Is it gone? I'm not feeling it. Great. How's your neck feel right now compared to when you walked in the door? I can feel it. I feel a lot better. I a little can, sore? I can move, yeah, but I can move without so much pain. Because okay. earlier in the waiting room, I could feel it was it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why people come here for the results. You know, and results is really what counts. If you're seeing a chiropractor two, three times a week, and you've been seeing him for months, and you're not getting results, stop going. Go see somebody else that does get results. The results are key. I mean, you spend a bunch of money going to this guy twice a week for over a year, and you come down here and this is your very first visit. Mm -hmm. Do you feel better after this one visit than you have the culmination of that entire year's worth of treatment? Yeah. My, just turning my neck feels a lot better. Yeah. It's, See, not, it's not hurting. Um, I can be a, very it. careful when you go home. Your husband yeah. thinks you're a little extra, <laughs> girl. <laughs> that feels a lot better. Oh, yeah. See, so, yeah, you can... Tell all your other crack addict friends up there yeah. about how it is in real deal. Mm -hmm. So this is the real deal. This, isn't is, it? this is in person. I yeah. stop watching it on YouTube. Right. Yeah. yeah. So don't wait so long. If you're watching this on YouTube, get on our website, advancedhoustonchiropractor.com, and fill out a new patient request form, and we'll try to get you in. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.